Hey everybody, this is the Summer Program. This is day seven, video one of three on the topic of externalities, also known as spillover effects. At the Kennedy School, you'll hear both terms used and they are the same thing. An externality is a spillover effect. In this video, we're focused on what are they? What are externalities? Externalities are a situation where somebody external to the market, somebody other than the market participants are being either hurt or are benefiting from market activity, the production or the consumption of a good. Let's talk about a couple examples. Let's first talk about a negative externality. A negative externality is, could be a situation where I drive my car. When I drive my car, I am consuming gasoline. Now, of course, there's a cost for me to consume that gasoline. I had to pr uh, purchase that gasoline, but that is not an externality. Here's the cost. When I consume that gasoline, carbon is emitted into the atmosphere, which contributes to global warming, which is going to incur a cost or put a cost onto third parties. This is a spill over cost. The cost is spilling over outside of the market participants onto others that are non-market participants. Again, I drive my car. I had to pay for that gasoline, but my consumption of that gasoline is leading to a spillover cost, an external cost, cost to third parties that I I am not taking into consideration when I purchase the gasoline, or at least I'm not fully taking it into consideration because I have not internalized those costs. These are external costs that others are incurring that I'm not taking into account when I make my decisions. Now, there's also positive externalities or spillover benefits. Education is a big one. When somebody gets educated, certainly they are getting benefits of them being educated. However, others are being benefited by that person being educated. That's right. We all benefit when other people are educated in our society. Education leads to higher productivity rates. Produ higher productivity rates lead to greater production of goods and services, and we all benefit from that. Greater productivity means that we all are now getting more goods and services and also at a cheaper price overall. Okay, So productivity benefits everybody and that is a result of better education. So that's a positive spillover. So again, we can see negative externalities. That's a situation where there's a spillover cost where costs are spilling over outside the market participants to third parties. And there are um, positive externalities. That's where we have a spillover benefit where benefits are spilling over to non-market participants, which we call third parties. Okay, so let's go through some more terms here as we get into this. First of all, market failures. So our first market failure that we're really talking about formally are externalities. So what is a market failure? A market failure is a situation that if the government leaves a market alone, it will fail to achieve max social surplus. It will fail to get us the optimal result. Again, what is a market failure? A market failure is a situation that if the government leaves a market alone, that market will fail to achieve max social surplus. Now, we've got some new terms here, okay? Marginal private cost, MPC. Marginal private benefit, MPB. Marginal social cost, mar which is MSC, of course, and marginal social benefit, MSB. The, let's talk about these terms, okay? Up until this point, we've just talked about marginal cost and marginal benefit, but now it's important that we split out between private cost and social cost and private benefit and social benefit. So, here we go, defining these terms. Marginal private cost. That is the cost incurred by the producer when producing the good. It is the cost that they incur just the producer. It is private to the producer. This does not take into account any external cost, any spillover cost. Marginal private benefit. That's the benefit that is going to the consumer. Marginal private benefit does also does not consider any spillover cost or spillover benefit. It's only the benefit that the consumer is getting from consuming the good. Marginal social cost. Now, the marginal social cost is the marginal total cost of that good being produced, okay? This takes into account all spillover effects, okay? Now, it also, it is very important, takes into account marginal private costs. So marginal social cost, cost takes into account all spillover effects, but it also, in addition to that, takes into account private costs. It's both, remember. Marginal social cost is marginal total cost. Marginal social benefit, also that's marginal total benefit. It's taking everything to account. Marginal social benefit takes into account all spillover effects, plus that marginal 
private benefit. It's taking both of those into account. Of course, if we want to optimize our societal outcome, we're going to care more about these than these. However, these are still very important because market participants are making decisions based on their private cost and their private benefit. Again, that's why we're going to get a market failure with an externality because the market participants are only going to take into account their private cost. That's what the producer is going to take into account. The consumer is only going to take in their private benefit. But what we ultimately care about is our marginal societal cost, marginal total cost, and marginal societal benefit, marginal total benefit. Okay, with that said, let's go over to here. Negative externalities exist when? When do they exist? Well, before I even answer that, I want to say the following. Up until this point, we have assumed this, that marginal cost is marginal private cost is marginal social cost, which means no externalities. If marginal private cost and marginal social cost are the same, there's no spillover effects. Also, we have been assuming that marginal Benefit is the marginal private benefit equals the marginal social benefit. Again, no externalities. If the marginal private benefit equals the marginal social benefit, no externalities. So when we get into when ex externalities exist, we're going to see an inequality between these. Okay. So negative externalities exist when, and there's going to be two situations we could have. We could have a negative externality on the production side. That would be a situation that the marginal social cost was greater than the marginal private cost. Okay? Again, why is the marginal social cost greater than the marginal private cost? The marginal social cost takes into account all the private costs, but then since this is a negative externality, that means third parties are incurring a cost. Okay? This is a negative impact to third parties, an additional cost to third parties. And so that additional cost, which is also a marginal social cost, makes the marginal social cost greater than the marginal private cost. Now let's go to the consumption side, the demand side. Okay? A negative externality exists when the, I'll put it right here, the marginal social benefit is less than the marginal private benefit. Remember, the marginal social benefit includes the marginal private benefit, but this is a negative externality from consumption. This would be, right here is a negative externality from consumption. This one was a negative externality from production. The production of the good created the spillover effect. This is when the consumption of the good creates the spillover effect. And again, remember, the MSP takes into account the MBB, the MPV, but why is it less than the MPV? Because, hey, we've got this benefit, but then there's a cost associated which brings down the benefit. That third party cost, that spillover cost, brings down the total benefit. So the total benefit is less than the private benefit. Finally, positive ex externalities exist when? I'm going to start off with talking on the consumption side first, okay? That's when the marginal social benefit is greater than the marginal private benefit, which should be pretty straightforward. This right here is a positive externality from consumption. When this happens, we've got a positive externality from consumption. The consumption of the good is creating positive spillover effects, okay? Benefits to others. Again, MSB takes into account MPV, but it's greater than MPV because there is additional benefits that third parties are getting. So since there's additional benefits third parties are getting, the MSB is greater. Now, on the production side, okay, a positive externality exists from production when the following is the case. Marginal social cost is less than the marginal private cost. This is a positive externality from production. Again, the MSC takes into account the MPC, but you can see it's actually less. Now, why is it less if this takes into account the MPC and the spillover effect? It's because this is a cost, right? So we've got a marginal private cost and the spillover effect is positive. It's a benefit. That benefit, we net it out against the cost. So therefore, the total cost, marginal social cost, is less than the private cost. Let me say that one more time. Imagine you got some amount of marginal private cost. Again, we're talking about a benefit here. So when we add in that benefit, that's sort of going to reduce the overall, that's going to net out some of that cost, right? And so the overall total cost is going to be less than the private cost. So negative externalities exist from production in this case. That is a negative one from production. Here is a negative externality from consumption. Here we've got a positive externality from consumption. Here we have a positive externality from production. Okay, That is our introduction to externalities, i.e. spillover effects, situation where both or 
cost or benefits, cost or benefits are spilling over into non-market participants, people we call third parties, changing the relationship between private costs and societal costs, private benefit and societal benefit. Hope that made sense to you. We'll see you in the next video.